our employee experience controlling the environment for satisfaction when we have different generations of employees, the X, millennials, seeds, Zs, when they have different motivations? We're out of time. See you later. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Uh, it, it's one that we oftentimes hear about, but you know what's really interesting is that this isn't the first time that we've had multiple generations at work, right? Having multiple generations at work is a constant thing. We had this 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago, and we'll keep having it 10 years from now, 20 years from now. And if you look at what a lot of the research today tells us and what a lot of the research shows is that there are far more similarities between different generations than there are differences. So, I would put it in that context of there, don't look at it as different generations. Look at it as just different motivations. It's just people. Regardless of what generation they're in, you're just dealing with people. And people will always care about different things. So how do you create experiences for people who care about different things? You try to personalize them. You try to encourage your managers and the executives that work directly with those people to create those more tailored experiences. If you know that one employee likes something and this is what they care about, create an experience around that. If you know an employee cares about something else, design something around that. The big problem is that inside of our companies, we've done a very good job of creating templates. Right? HR is very good at having a template. Everybody gets a template. And whether you care about that template or not, you fit into that bucket. So we need to do a much better job of understanding the individual needs and desires of our people. And this is one of the ways where I see technology helping a lot, where artificial intelligence will be helping a lot. Because it will know individuals better than we as humans can know individuals. So right now, I would start very high level and I would start with figuring out what are the moments that matter. Get the big moments that matter across your organization, design experiences for those, and you'll find that regardless of what generation this employee is, you're going to have a lot more common uh, moments that matter than not. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out futureofworkpodcast.com for more content. And do me a favor, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred channel is. Thank you.